Ah, uh, Starfield. The highly anticipated space RPG with over 250,000 lines of dialogue, over a thousand planets to explore, and multiple story paths to promise an experience of a gamer's wet dreams. We all remember what it was like to play the previous titles like Fallout 4 and Skyrim that kept us locked in our rooms for days on end without realizing the sun had come up until it was already too late. With the set release date in the first half of 2023, we can surely anticipate a variety of bugs and glitches that will make the first few months questionable regarding if this game is truly ready for a fat sausage finger to absorb. Given Bethesda's track record, this will surely be a game that many of us hop on the hype train and give $60 to Todd Howard before it's even released. I think he understands the level of hype that this has generated and are trying their best to avoid a degenerate launch from games like Cyberpunk 2077. However, that may be questionable given itself lack of tight control we have seen in the gunplay and the vast areas that lack a reason to explore beyond. I don't know about you, but personally, flying around for more than 10 minutes just to reach a destination is not prime gaming for me. It's a different form of a loading screen. Sure, they took out the need for fuel, which they said could ruin the game for many, but having such a large variety of planets to explore will seem daunting at times. Imagine how much you will have to remember when you travel across different planets if you come across something unique. Having to remember the exact spot and area that you may need to go back to may seem like a daunting task and a chore that many will simply skip to move forward in the story if it's not required. Having played games like No Man's Sky, Space Engineer, and Astroneer, I can speak from experience that the last thing I wanted to do was run around a planet and farm random rocks which has the same concept as every other game just to build a spaceship that I can now wait 10 to 15 minutes just to get from point A to point B. Sure, each game had different elements and ways of reaching their goals, but the overall concept remained the same. I highly hope this is one of those factors that Starfield will be able to expand from and place a different twist from what every other space sim has done. With their own standalone release show coming in the near future, I hope they'll be able to provide more insight into what we should expect. If you agree or disagree with the points I've made, please leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will keep these videos coming.